musicians have it hard with all the stress of creating music, touring, and whatnot, but that in no way gives them the right to act like jerks. However, many tend to act out, from Justin Bieber to Frank Sinatra. Here are the biggest jerks in the music industry. The first one is a man hated by many. It's Chris Brown. Years ago, Chris Brown was a man many couldn't get enough of. He was topping the charts. Plus, he had the charisma of a true bad boy. But soon, it became public knowledge that his bad boy persona got a bit too intense. News came out of his acts of violence against Rihanna. Like there were literally photos of the abuse where we can see Riri's face bruised. And that wasn't even the end of it. One of his ex-girlfriends got a restraining order against him in 2017. Before that, there was a woman who accused Chris of threatening her with a gun while she was at his place. And it looks like the man had a pattern. Because then, in 2019, he was accused of raping a woman while in Paris. All of this came as quite a shock to the masses. Because before all of this happened, he was one of the hottest people in the entire industry. And while there's an uncountable number of people who hate him and think he's a jerk, there's still a group of people who won't leave his side. Talk about loyalty. A group called Team Breezy, who call themselves his most loyal fans, say that none of the allegations that came up are true. In fact, they even believe that Brown is the victim here, as he's getting racially profiled. <sighs> Looks like you can never convince some people. Anyway, up next is another musician who had the world wrapped around his finger, Frank Sinatra. You might know him as the Sultan of Swoon, or maybe you think of him as the man with the bluest of eyes and the most charming of smiles. But it looks like there were many, many people out there who weren't charmed by his blue eyes or his smile. In fact, rumor has it he was quite a jerk. People close to him have time and time again talked about his erratic and aggressive behavior. Frank's own wife said that his personality was quite like that of a Jekyll and Hyde character. Not to mention, his aggression wasn't just displayed verbally, but he would often get physical as well. Back in 1948, he once got a little too provoked and punched a reporter. And of course, he did face some consequences because he had assault and battery charges filed against him. Then there was the time when he was at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Only God knows what happened, but something must have icked him because he threw a cell phone at a random person who was also there. And it was so bad that the man literally cracked his skull. Yeah, that actually happened. And if you thought that was bad, did you know he almost killed his wife Ava when he threw a bottle of champagne right at her? And when he wasn't able to take it out on the people around him, Sinatra would move on to wreaking havoc on things. This one time he shredded a Norman Rockwell painting with a knife. Gee, what more proof do you need? The guy clearly had issues. Up next is a famous rapper who tried running for president. You guessed it, Kanye West. He tried running for the president of the United States, but all he could manage was winning the crown for the president of jerks. It's not like he isn't talented. No, the man certainly has a lot of skill. He's an amazing rapper and musician. All of us can vouch for his spectacular wordplay and ear for spotting the right tone. But having skills isn't enough. He isn't the nicest if you look at his personality. The first thing that bothers people the most is the lack of filter in his speech. The man says literally anything and everything that comes to his mind, no matter how ugly his thoughts are. Plus, I can't let go of how he snatched the mic from Taylor. That was probably the start of his downfall. Just recently, he's been famous for saying anti-Semitic things and whatnot. Another aspect of his personality is the arrogance that just doesn't sit right with the masses. And his political views have been full of controversies too. Kanye West's past boldness in supporting Donald Trump has made him unpopular in certain circles. In 2018, West referred to Trump as his brother, and the two men met at the White House later that year. And wait, how can I forget his messy divorce with Kim and all the hate he sent to poor Pete Davidson? Now, up next is a man you'll probably know very well. It's Justin Bieber. This on camera, I just feel like... I mean, we're recording, right? Are we recording? I'd rather just start. Yeah, I don't too. really have a big introduction. Yeah, cool. Sure. Yeah, I, I was extremely nervous. Um, I felt like in the past we talked about, you know, me asking the question. And I felt I just, like... um, it was just so overwhelming for me, everything. Just the performance. I missed some cues, so I was a little disappointed at that. I and just... Dancing. I'm excited to get back on the road. I feel better. Oh, um, good. I'm not feeling sick anymore. Yeah. 
Um, so I don't know if you guys know, but I got diagnosed with Lyme. Justin Bieber's many irritating habits boil down to one thing. The poor kid has an attitude issue. With the same annoying attitude, Justin spits on fans, drives drunk, and forgets about pet monkeys. His arrogant, spoiled brat behavior has become more and more tiresome as time has passed. And believe me when I say he's pulled a lot of stunts. Like there was the time when he was performing in Argentina and a fan threw a flag at the stage. Now, instead of picking it up or waving it or wearing it as many musicians do, Bieber just kicked it off the stage. Then at one point, his self-love got a little out of hand when he visited the Anne Frank house. While at the house, instead of learning about the Holocaust history, he casually said, hoped she would have been a believer. Um, not the time or the place, bro. Bieber's egotism has come through, despite his publicist's best attempts to tame him and get him to apologize for his laziest behavior. But the entire point of apologies is that you promise not to do it again. And when Justin can't keep up with his promises, the public obviously gets pissed. Up next is a star that many people are confused about hating, John Mayer. The man made a career out of making corny love songs, but it turns out all of it was just bait. In fact, he could easily be one of the least romantic people out there. If you've seen that one interview of his, you'd know how he's amazing at objectifying women. Mayer, in an interview with the magazine, made the least complimentary possible remarks about the qualities he seeks in a female partner. Aren't we talking about a matrix of a couple of different things here? Like you need to have them to be able to go toe to toe with you intellectually, he said. He then made some pretty prude comments about female body parts to prove his point. Then he went on to explain his criteria for selecting a suitable sexual partner. And believe me when I say it was truly disgusting. And that isn't the only thing about him that pisses fans off. He's also pretty famous for saying the end word. Yikes. And he never had a filter when talking about the girls he liked. This one time he talked about Jessica Simpson publicly, and it was truly vile. He said, and I quote, yeah, that girl is like crack cocaine to me. And finally, this last one many of you might agree on. It's Nicki Minaj. Sorry, I, have to, I have to go first? Wait a minute. Well, there is no one going second. This is it. <laughs> this, this is first and last. Oh this is okay. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. All right. Wait, uh, well, you know what? It it, it, it's it's kind of like um, there's a warfare goddess you can look up, you can Google it, and so we took that. I just, out. I just loved it. I mean, she made me so so happy. She embodied, she embodied Nicki Minaj. She has broken barriers no other female MC has been able to, but she also has a large group of haters. Some people find her nasally voice irritating, while others can't get beyond her arrogance and the hollowness of her songs. The clincher came when folks discovered she was dressed like Lil' Kim. In the end, it was the fact that she was caught on tape, yelling at American Idol icon Mariah Carey that did it for her. And honestly, her fan following has only made it worse for her. So, those were the musicians who are known to be the biggest jerks in the industry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.